Hey everyone, this is Elise with Reliable Equipment Sales coming to you from Woolkit, Connecticut, here to talk today about air-operated diaphragm pumps. We have three different manufacturers in front of us here today, all the same connection, same material, so we're going to discuss a little bit about the differences of these three. We're going to talk about price point, we're going to talk about availability, we're going to talk about rebuild parts, and we're going to talk about kind of the lifespan with the different design changes through these three different brands. Over here we've got the Finnish Thompson Air, the FTI Air coming from Erie, Pennsylvania. It is one of the newest AODs out on the market. I think it's been out on the market for a little over a year. It, this is a one inch PolyPro Santaprene pump. As you can see, it is beefy. It has a wider diaphragm than most of the competition. It has a shorter shaft, which is what holds the diaphragms. With a shorter shaft, you get a longer diaphragm life because it doesn't make the diaphragms flex as much back and forth. So you have a longer lifespan and less, less time or more time in between to replace parts. So savings and money. We have gone over the FTI air, air valve in the past videos. It is only three components, so cost savings wise, really, really good on spare parts. Liquid side kit, not too expensive comparatively to other brands. As you can see, there are no clamps, all bolted design, side port flanged. Some of the other sizes and materials have different connection options, so there is flexibility. Price point on this pump is $784 list and the max flow rating is 54 gallons per minute when we're speaking of water at a flooded section. The Wilden pump, this is a P2R. It is not exactly the apples to apples comparison to the FTI Air and the Yamada over here. This is the original clamped design for Wilden. The newer design would be their P200 Advanced series, which is all bolted, but this for us is the more popular Wilden, so we decided to display it here for you to see. One of the benefits of this pump is this swivel flange. So it's a one inch flange connection similar to the FTI, but it has a swivel, which of course the disadvantage of it could be leaks from these two O-rings here, and as well as an, an extra part to have to order if it does fail, similar to the bottom being a swivel flange. The air valve, the air valve itself, there is an internal spool which is only included in the airside kits which come from Wilden. Wilden does not, as of right now, sell it as an individual part. We do not stock it. We do stock, however, the air valve assembly which is significantly more money. Uh, the trouble that we sometimes come into is the availability of the airside kits if a customer does need that internal piece and we're usually talking two to three weeks on that. Uh, this is also a one inch PolyPro Will Flex, which is Wilden's branded name for the Santa Cream material. So same material across the board for all three pumps. It is a significantly smaller pump, but again, not an apples to apples. The P200 would be slightly larger. Its max flow is 37 gallons per minute compared to the 54 over here. And its price point is $1,077 list, while its uh, advanced series sister, shall we say, is 1102, so more expensive than the FTI Air here. This is the Yamada NDP25 BPS-PP. This is their one inch PolyPro Santa Prime pump. This standard has threaded one inch female connections. You can get it in the flange connection similar to the FTI and the Wilden. It's just a, a different model number. This is their more standard model number. This has a max flow of 46.2 gallons a minute using water as a reference and a flooded suction. And this price point is $965. So of the three we're looking at, Wilden being the most expensive, then Yamada, then the FTI Air. Now let's talk availability. We stock a lot of the Finnish Thompson Air, the Yamada, as well as the Wilden. However, if we don't have it stocked, we're talking three days to ship from Pennsylvania, three to four weeks to ship from California, and currently anywhere from three to six weeks to ship from Chicago where Yamada is based. So decent variance on the availability, Finnish Thompson being the quickest. Uh, on, in respect to rebuild parts and pricing of kits and uh, 
variety of components, shall we say. In our experience, the Yamada has the most moving parts or most replace, replacing parts, of these three, that is. I'm not comparing other brands right now. Wilden would have the second, Finnish Thompson would have the least amount of replacement parts. So least amount of parts, quicker ma uh, maintaining turnaround, so time is money, as we all know. And then, you know, you can get it back on the line pretty quickly. And that would be about it to sum summarize what we're looking at right now. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. If you're unsure of what model you have, we love looking at pictures and we can usually ID a Wilden, for example, a Yamada, or an FTI Air with photos if you can't seem to find this tag that's on the pump. And they all seem to have tags on them. Finish Thompson's model number is right on the top, but in chemical situations, they you know, all tags tend to erode or fall off. Our phone number here is 203-740-1877. Again, my name is Elise. Feel free to email us at sales at reliable-equipment.com. And any questions, just give us a call. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.